Hey guys, so it's me Lego Leaf 3 Tonight I'm here and I'm very excited to bring you my first Lego minifigure scale Minecraft set review onto number 21113 The Cave. This set has 249 pieces and with that piece count you would guess the set would cost around $30 but actually it's a fantastic price at just 20 US dollars. I really do love that. Here's a front look at your box. There is the back of the box and this set includes one instruction manual that has 39 pages of building. First minifigure here is Steve. And of course, Steve being the main guy from Minecraft, you're gonna get him in actually every single one of these Minecraft sets, at least for this way. But this is, of course, the cheapest Minecraft sets. This is the cheapest way to get a Steve minifigure, which is very cool. He's a great looking figure. I love the new mold for the block head right there. I think that looks fantastic. Also, the new mold for his pickaxe looks really great. Everything else is extremely plain, but of course, it's fitting and it's very accurate given Steve's character from the game. He's a great looking minifigure. No details from the back, but that's not really much of a problem because he's Steve. He is not really very detailed character in the game so I really like this Steve minifigure right here. Our next minifigure here is the zombie and he is only available in two of these new Minecraft sets. This set of course in the $110 mine set. So this is by far by far the cheapest way to get this minifigure which is awesome. He's a great looking figure. All his details just like Steve extremely plain but also very accurate. Look at it, a great job with the zombie. He has no details from the back obviously but a very good looking zombie figure right here. Now Lego does count this as a minifigure. I would hesitate to call it a minifigure. It's more of a billable character but it is the Minecraft spider right here and I think Lego has done a brilliant job with this spider. It is so, so well done. Especially I love the use of there's very few curved pieces. Really the only pieces that have any curve in this set are the, you know, the connection joints that they use to make his legs and the little T-bar which is actually molded in black for the first time which is very cool. Besides that, everything is really blocky. It looks very Minecraft-ish and I really love the spider right here. He has some fantastic details. The head mold is actually slightly different than the one that's used for Steve and the zombie. It's kind of interestingly attached on. You can see right there. So I really love this spider. Lego did a great job with it. And the spider actually has some fantastic articulation. You can't move the head, but the legs here actually move up and down, which is pretty cool. You can also kind of swivel them back and forth, and they fold in and out. So lots of articulation on the spider figure right here. You can get him actually in some pretty cool poses. So I think LEGO did a brilliant job with that. And here is the Minecraft cave itself. Guys, keep in mind that this set only costs 20 US dollars and has less than 250 pieces as I slowly bring in the Nether Micro World Minecraft set from last year. This set costs $15 more, had almost double the amount of pieces. And you can see the size comparison right here. There really isn't much of a size comparison. This cave, especially for the $20 US price point, is humongous. It's really big. We're gonna start off with the left side over here, which kind of represents some of the outside world. There's definitely lots of grass going on right here, which actually looks very cool. I love the use of these blocks. They actually look very Minecrafty to me, and I think they did a great job with that. Now we kind of start to move into the actual cave. You do have a TNT brick right here, which is very very cool. It actually has two printed pieces, which I really do like. So I'm very glad LEGO decided to include that in this set. And we can move actually on into the actual cave here, which is very, very cool. It's got a pretty cool design. There's a small little bucket piece, which I'm not a huge fan of that bucket piece being in this set because it is very curved. And, you know, of course, everything in Minecraft is very pixelated. We do have the lava and the water kind of meeting right here with these black bricks, which is very, very cool. And the lava actually has a pretty nice waterfall kind of flow going on right here, which I think does look really nice. You'll also see torches throughout this set. And there's a ladder right here. Again, it's got some curved pieces, which I'm not a huge fan of, and that does lead up to the top right here that has another torch. And then you have the treasure chest. I really like the treasure chest molded in this color. I believe that's the first time it's actually been molded in that color. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, but the treasure chest is really, really curved, and the bread piece is super curved. This doesn't really feel very Minecrafty to me. I kind of wish LEGO had brick built the treasure chest or even made a new piece, and the bread, I think they could just use maybe just some, you know, like a plate or something. I love this bread piece. I love getting more of those pieces, and the more the merrier for those pieces, but it's just so curved, it doesn't feel Minecrafty at all to me. Now, the one thing that's really awesome about this set that I just kind of love, and it's just extremely Minecraft-ish to me, is that you can take apart a lot of this set into individual blocks. Like these ore pieces right here, you can easily take off lots of these brick pieces. They come apart pretty easily. It's very cool. It's really well designed, and I really do like that. And you get a ton. Yes, you get a ton of individual blocks, which is really cool. It definitely, you know, captures the essence of the Minecraft game, you know, the ability to take apart blocks and put blocks wherever the heck you want. And I love this. You get six individual
individual ores, which is very cool, and a bunch of stone blocks and grass blocks and all of that. So it actually looks really great right here. I love to get so many individual blocks with this set. Another very cool feature with this set is that this top part here can actually easily be taken off. And this is a very constant theme throughout all these Minecraft sets is the bottoms kind of look a little bit incomplete, but there's lots of big gaps, which lets you connect different pieces from sets to each other. You can actually connect all the sets to each other and get a giant Minecraft display. So I think that's a really fantastic play feature on Lego's part. And another great feature that LEGO includes with this set is the ability to actually customize it. They actually give you an idea in the back of the instruction manual. So this idea tells you you can take off these two pieces, take the parts from all those pieces and combine them to make a really cool thing. So you take this piece off right here and you take this piece off from the bottom right here. And I'll show you the combiner model right now. And here is what that model looks like. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. It actually uses all the pieces from those two parts. I took out besides the treasure chest right here, but it does make it longer. It extends it all right there, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little alternate model for this and I really love the you know the inclusion of alternate models. I haven't seen that in Lego sets in a very long time. Definitely gives me you know some nostalgia about the classic Star Wars sets that always had those kind of alternate models so I really do like this. Alright guys final verdict here on the Lego Minecraft cave set. I am very surprised how much I actually like this set. It's really well done. There are definitely some flaws here. That's kind of a big flaws of the entire Minecraft line. Of course, the minifigures have curved parts, the torches, the treasure chest. You know, there's lots of curved pieces in this set. And everything in Minecraft is cubic and everything in Minecraft is pixelated. Not everything here is cubic. Not everything here is pixelated. There's definitely some flaws with that and lego really couldn't have avoided those flaws because the lego brick system isn't cubic it isn't perfectly pixelated there are lots of curved lego pieces so i think lego has done a fantastic job here actually getting the best representation of minecraft in the best way possible especially with all the individual pieces you can take off of this set i think that's fantastic and the fact that they actually give you, you no know, ideas of how you can customize these sets and how everything is you know kind of modular is really really cool now the modular thing is a little bit of a problem because it's all a little bit flimsy which is you know not a good thing but besides that this thing is really well done i really like it i think lego has done a very good job here there aren't any exclusive minifigures however the zombie and the spider come in the gigantic mindset and this set's 20 dollars that one's 110 so $90 cheaper. It's a great way to get those minifigures. It's also the cheapest way to currently get Steve. So overall, a really cool set. It's got some really nice designs. It's not terribly exciting to look at. It's not the best design in the world, but I think LEGO did a really good job of what they were given here, and I do like it quite a bit. So my rating for this set's going to be a 7.9 out of 10. Now, guys, you guys probably noticed that I don't know the names of all the like specific stones and bricks and ores and whatnot, because I'm not a huge Minecraft fan. I've played Minecraft before, but you know I'm not a big Minecraft. I'm an avid player of the game so please excuse me if I made any like dumb Minecraft mistakes because I'm not really that huge a fan of this but you guys I know a lot of you really love Minecraft and would you guys like, like to see me review more of these Minecraft sets I'm probably gonna get the first night set would you like guys like to see me review any more of them I might get the farm set but if you guys really want me to review maybe I'll spend some more money and get the end set or the um, mine set just please tell me in the comment section down below so thank you guys for watching this review please go check out my other YouTube channel I have a gaming channel I'll be linked to that in the description down below also have a Facebook a Twitter and an Instagram, you can like and follow me on all those pages. Hope you guys next time for like a Minecraft set reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.